Well, thank you all for coming here today. I appreciate it. I want to thank uh, members of the media, uh, my supporters and friends who are here uh, to talk about something I think is very, very important to every taxpayer, not just in the Granite State, but nationally. I think here in New Hampshire, regardless of our party affiliation, one thing that we all share a belief in is being efficient and being focused on how to be a better steward of taxpayer dollars. Uh, Going back to my tenure, not just as a state legislator, but as an alderman and as a mayor, uh, this was one of the key focuses that I always had, was to ensure that we would find a way to make a buck go uh, longer and try to stretch a dollar on behalf of the taxpayer to make sure that taxpayers are protected. Uh, here in my first term, serving as a United States representative, uh, I feel just as strongly about that particular issue. Taxpayers need to be protected. We have a one point trillion dollar deficit, $16 trillion debt. People want to see a plan in place to focus on long-term achievement, long-term goals, to balance our budget, to restore fiscal discipline, and to finally uh, tell the taxpayer that we believe in you, we trust you, and we're going to protect you. So it brings me uh, a lot of concern when I found out about the following information that we are today about my predecessor, Kelly Shea Porter, when she served in this capacity. Back in 2010, after losing the 2010 election, uh, then Congresswoman Kelly Shea Porter decided, as you can see here, that she would shut down her office. This very posting was on this very building. Secondly, she decided to continue to pay her entire staff including increases to her chief of staff, Naomi Andrews, by a record 29% in November, and to also her deputy chief of staff, Robert Moeller, receiving a 49% pay increase. Now, when you extrapolate these dollars out and you consider what she also paid these two individuals for two days of work in uh, the following year in 2011, uh, for Naomi Andrews, it was $13,641 for two days' pay. And for Robert Moeller, her deputy, $11,555. This is a fleecing of the taxpayers' money. This essentially, I think, is a staff stimulus that did nothing other than take care of her staff when she told her staff to go home and not continue to serve the constituents of the first congressional day. The term does not end on election day. It ends on the day that your term expires, which in this circumstance would have been the second day of January. Yet she decided to close her office down, send constituents away. We're talking about veterans. We're talking about people who have issues with Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security. Those very people that rely on constituent service from their representatives. I think in New Hampshire, we all know that constituent service is the most important job you have as a representative at any level. Constituent service is not about partisanship, and it knows no election dates. Constituents expect to be served by their representatives. The fact that my predecessor, Cal Shea Porter, decided to spend this kind of money on her staff once closing her office, closing it to the people of New Hampshire, is wrong. It's what's wrong with politics. It's what's wrong with a lack of appreciation for the office that you hold. And it's something that should not be tolerated by any constituent or by any taxpayer. When I found this out, I was absolutely shocked. So there's three things I think we want to know from Carol Shea Porter. Number one, when exactly did she shut her office down? Secondly, why did she do it so early after her election? And third, why did she think it was so appropriate to give massive payouts to her employees? This is what taxpayers want to know. When you ask taxpayers what is their number one concern with how elected officials spend their money, it's about wasteful spending. Taxpayers get irritated more than anything about wasteful spending. This is an exact example of what's wrong with people who decide to spend dollars in this irresponsible way. If you extrapolate out just for the chief of staff, what that is, it's up to million dollars a year. I think that would frustrate taxpayers. I think it would frustrate 
straight constituents. I think, moreover, it's not a way to conduct yourself to serve the people of this great state. You know, I served in this situation before when I decided not to run for re-election. Thank you all for coming out today, hearing for this press conference. I appreciate the support of the people behind me.